Hey guys, I am coming to you to show you real quick like the actual um, <clears throat> card folder I made. This is for my father-in-law. He is a typical um, gentleman that is manly man, very um, stern man, but he is a very um, sentimental man. man. Um, he keeps all of his cards that his family gives him. He is real big about integrity and words. So what we write in his cards mean a lot to him. And he keeps them throughout the year. He keeps them in a, a special place in um, a drawer and everything, especially for all of his cards. So I thought, you know, um, really just, you know, a journal would not work for him. So I was trying to think what would work for him. Um, this is what I came up with. This is a piece of um, cardboard, a little thin piece of cardboard and everything that I had um, that was actually in between some cardstock. So I actually grabbed it, made it up. Um, it was a 12 by 12 sheet cut down to um, basically about 9 by 12. It was scored at the 5 and a quarter mark on each side so that it would make the gusset in the middle basically for the spine. Then it is a, an anagraphic, um, basically the, the cards, makeup cards on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. It just has a easy um, wraparound string. I probably will end up making another one a little bit bigger because I want it to really be where it can actually get a little chunky. Just where it wraps around in a twist. Because um, <clears throat> I made this where it would expand. Um, I'm going to grab one of the tags in here so you can see how... I did it on here. This is glued directly across here, directly in right across here and here. I don't know if you can see me across here so that I could actually stick tags in here and tags in here. Um, and as you can see, we have a tag right here and a tag here and my husband and his brother are going to write memories um, this morning on these cards like I said for him this was an actual um, base card of course chalked, um, chalked this card up laid it down this was already pre-piece made that I actually glued down the reason why I chose this is because of this piece right here and it's an old um, golf scorecard it has the holes the length of the yards the par score um, and it says the first nine so it's basically the nine holes listed on it um, and he loved golf so um, I went ahead and laid that on the front side of it these are two um, sewn in stitcher stitches and I made it with actually some little chunky cord because again it's a man and he wouldn't appreciate the stitches or anything like that, so I wanted it to be chunky. Um, I got it real uh, grunged up and dirty, and just he wouldn't have appreciated the chalking or anything like that, so I made sure. Um, he is still, like I said, very uh, sophisticated um, man and everything, like I said, well rounded man, so I made sure that it was something that was nice looking and appeasing to the eye. This again, like I said, is glued the same way one across here, one glue across here and then one glued right across in this area so again i'd be able to put in the cards directly across here and directly across here um, in this area so that um, like they'd be able to take these tags and put memories on them it also could be that you know come back again here i'm meeting some resistance on the card but i could easily like i said make it where you put here and put one right across here as well right now it's meeting resistance because these other cards are a little bit chunkier but um the reason being is because they are the back side of this card i'm just trying to, to use every piece that i have <coughs> because it was the base of this piece um card that i cut off to make this this and the back piece of the other of it. So, if you have two cards, then of course you're going to have the envelopes for those cards. That being said, I've got this tag and this tag. 
I'd run a um, just a strip of glue through here and that will be the holding spot for this tag and this tag. Both of these tags will have a quick memory on the back side of it that will be for my brother-in-law and my husband. They will actually list their favorite memory um, as a child um, for my father and a like I said, um, sports memory for him in general. Now, there again, like I said, it was two cards. So with two cards, you'd have two envelopes. I actually glued these envelopes together to get um, a little envelope journal is what I call it. It's my lip. This way you can see it. It opens up. Inside of it is six blank tags. These blank tags, my mother-in-law um, charged her with the duty of getting um, with the girls, my daughters, and like I said, the two sons, because I didn't want to coerce them as far as their memories. I wanted her just to ask them in general what memories they had of their papa. A lot with the girls, I know that they really enjoyed whenever they were babies growing up, their papa used to read them stories and play them specifically songs. Excuse me just a second. <coughs> <coughs> um, the boys, I, I know they have specific memories of him um, making it to their football games in high school, things like that, that he would drive from wherever he was at to come to those games. Uh, those type of things that um, they won't be in there when he first gets this this morning or at lunchtime. They, they won't be in there, but when he comes back to it, then he'll see that there's those memories in there. Um, then I actually glued this down here and here so that whenever you actually, um, he gets this, he'll actually be able to also use it to stick in something here. Now, back to the book itself. I actually put down, this is the first page. There is these little books here, maybe these little envelopes on the first page that you can be able to put something here and here. Not the best screen. Here we can like shot, but here. But then I put these little tags. Um, so he's, he likes sports and everything. He likes golf and he likes college football. So um, I have these that he can use to, to put something here and here. But he also can use these as tucks, um, the top part of them as well. And then let's see the bags themselves. This gives him place to put basically things that the grandkids give him, uh, little memories and stuff on it. I uh, made a slip here that he can put things in it, but he can put little pictures of the grandkids in him. He can use, like I said, again, this area. The card is not finished here. We still have one grandchild that's got to sign, so I've got it un, um, unsealed yet, and you know, it's not sealed. Now, these envelopes, not these, envelopes, these pockets on here, I did not seal on the end because I wanted it to be where he could take and put um, several envelopes in there, several cards throughout the year into the actual spot. So it will hold several. Here is, um, let's just say, a, a thing of stamps. You see how thick it is that you'll be able to, you know, he would be able to put it in there and it would hold um, it. So very chunky. Um, but this morning it will have mine and my husband's card on one side and then it will have the girls cards on the other side of it and then it is um, just real simply and I feel like I said um, decorated is not um, big decorated because he's just not that type man and everything like I said it's just real simple but what I did is just made it where it's only glued on the two sides and everything, the bottom and one side, so that he could again use it as a tuck if he chose the actual corners. Everything is done this way. Now, every one, every two pages and everything are facing each other so that you have a pocket and a pocket facing each other. Therefore, it left two pages because there's four um, sheets in each signature and there's two signatures. So that left two pages coming together and when those two pages come together there's an actual um leave it like this so you'll see that the card it punched there 
and where those two pages come together then you will actually see um, an envelope basically section there that he'll be able to put like drawings from the kids he can fold and put in here in that area um, this section then is just you can see where the tag goes there again showed you that took this I really was going to get a um, piece of paper to decorate this and then he would have another section to um, stuff something this is my beeline uh, stamps beeline design stamp that mr. Walker that just stamped and then um, glued or mixed media um, my media matte medium on the top of it so it's sealed and put it on top and now he'll actually be able to use it and I used this to give it some dimension but I really liked it because um, it kind of reminded me of both the turf football and everything turf and like I said the greens as far as with golf so um, on these then I used again another beeline stamp for um, the journal but there's a little tucks here and this one says remember this same thing this comes together here for um, again the little area and it separates out so that he can put items in between I try to get out of the camera and then I go in the way of the camera there and it opens up into the next area and this will have some of this stuff there and here opens up the next signature so I really um I'll end up coming back and putting something here and here to decorate this so I just don't have any little paper this like I says um is a part of the card where it says handmade by and I just actually when I cut down those to make the tags I use this to go here and it says handmade by my name and it says love you papa and then this is specifically my memory um, to him and um, just a, a certain memory I had for him uh, in there just a personal thing for me these are some of the other tags but I used it for a little tuck um, in here and these pages are the same as the other ones one of the other beeline design um, stamps and used it on again some of the same paper that I had used um, from the actual card that I made into tags for the other and I just used them for actual pockets here this actually is removable it's just used in the actual ticket everything for a tuck same here with Mr. Walker used as an actual tuck there same thing here for pocket and for a tuck here tuck let me see here this one's a pocket um the clock is a beeline design and the other is a stamp uh stamping up stamp an older wooden stamp so and then the back of the page beeline designs mr walker stamp and we come to the very back of the book so just like I said again it's just a quick walk through of it just something I came up with um, trying to come up with something really simple for him um, that was manly enough and something we thought about that you know we could do at Christmas time basically or something you know, in general for him um, that we could do that he would be able to keep up with all of his cards throughout the year throughout the year every year and then he could easily put this up on a bookshelf and keep up with his stuff instead of um you know just putting you know sometimes we just we give them um gifts just to make sure we have something for them but he is one that's it's very sentimental and he likes the gifts that are geared towards the sentimental side of it you know he, he doesn't want something that's um just you know just give me something to give me something um he'd much rather have a card than he would anything um he loves golf and everything but i think that he he himself would rather have a card than he would um as much as he loves golf than a, a, a box of golf balls and, and he loves golf but that's just the the type of man that he is he's very much um integrity very much um words you know your word means what your word means uh the way i was raised but um anyway i just wanted to 
give you a quick run through of it and let you see it and hopefully like i said you like it hopefully it'll give you some inspiration to create your own and step out of your, your own box you know and just come up with your own ideas and stuff and it you know i didn't know what you know i was going to create or what i was going to do and i just thought about you know what is something that i could do that he could keep his own cards something that is not girly and and something that would be masculine enough for him and um i looked at the things i had i pulled a couple of items such as the um football you know with the tickets and um things that were you know manly enough and went from there as far as inspiration so hopefully this gives you some ideas and helps you think out of the box you know with coming up with something that was you know inspirational um we don't always have to have that tutorial from someone else we can you know come up with our own ideas we're all very creative guys and, and we don't um we don't need to doubt ourselves you know just just get out there and think of of what it is that we need and go from there um and and just create just create and, and messing up is 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 part of the fun that's where we learn the most and everything it's not a mess up and everything it's a learning opportunity so go out and have fun guys and and create and everything part of um of messing up per se is cause a trip up you know part of tripping up is part of learning sometimes you you trip on um a happy accident a happy accident is is, is the learning process the learning process is growth and growth is what we actually like i said all need so have fun guys and have a great um father's day and happy father's day to everyone out there and to the dads to to the you know men and to the ladies that fill those roles and everything like i said god bless and everything love y'all